Woke up feeling cut though, hit that nigga up close. Yeah, back doors for scary niggas, kick the front door. Nigga, that jury on a payment plan, what you tryna stunt for? I'm getting tired of smoking rods, we got it by the truck though. Put dick up in it, she hand high nose like she played on Frozen. I feel like Tracy Calvin, Greta Will Pills, got me dozing. White plug, we bring peace from Ohio, look like Gary Owens. Pussy last, get this money first, yeah, that's my fucking slogan. Already knowing niggas, my sons, I don't need Mari Povich. Fill a nigga up with that land like he tight kind of rollers. I'm tryna lay it. Merch is on deck. Go get y'all sessions TV so TV. Eve. What's up, man? Guy. What's going on with you, my guy? What's going on? Everything's everything, man. Finally did that sessions TV interview. About time, bro. About time, about time. How you been, man? I've been G's, bro. I'm trying, I'm maintaining. I could be better. I'm trying to get better, you heard? Go on, go on, my guy. See, you dropped that single, yeah? Man, that's slight, yeah, though, you heard? That's slight. That's, 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 that's just that's just something to hold motherfuckers over till, I, till I'm really about to start bombing, you heard? I'm really about to go cool. Let's see, what's your plan? What's your, what's your, your game, game plan? Game plan this year, though. On the real, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm overdue, like, I'm overdue on a lot of shit, so, like, I'm really about to start, really going crazy, just start bombing, damn, there, there. I'm about to drop, I'm about to drop again this week, no bullshit, I'm not going to tell you all day. Okay. I'm about to definitely drop again this week, and I'm going to fuck around and drop the video next week, but I'm about to go crazy with these visuals, bro, I'm about to just start bombing these visuals. What you been doing this whole time, back to, 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 you feel me? Word. What you been doing this whole time, though? Taking care of my motherfucking family, bro, bro. Listen, when you when you when you when you really try to like situate situate your family, get your family to a to a better position, like that shit time consuming. Like a lot of motherfuckers will ask me where I'm at. I don't mean to use that as an excuse, you feel me, to slack off my music and shit, but like my family came important. My son, my son, my son and my family came first for a lot of shit, you feel me? Yeah. Had to make sure I can build a nice foundation for my seed. You just had your son? I had him last year. Yeah. Last January, like twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. One, one and turn shit up. You heard that little nigga bad as hell. How old is he? But the baddest kids be smart. Be the smartest though. No, nah, you right. You right. He you won right. and he won. What's what's what is it? It's April. He won in four months, fourteen months. Not fourteen months. I'm bugging. Sixteen months. How old are you? I'm twenty two. Where you from? Here, right from the city. City word. Born and raised. Right? This is my shit. Word. This is really my shit. Bro. Was that a big transition from you just uh, becoming a father? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. That's one of the biggest transitions, transitions ever in life. Like that's one of the biggest eye openers you heard. No bullshit. Like that shit make that shit made me want to get on my shit. Word. That shit that shit that shit changed my mindset. mindset. Like crazy, like you feel me? Like the moment that I heard that that little nigga was growing in my baby mom belly like a lot of shit was dead. You feel what I'm saying? A lot of shit was dead. I got on time and for for and that's why I really was away from a lot of shit. Yeah, I had removed myself. It, well, I just I didn't just remove myself from music. I removed myself away from society, for real. Like as a whole, like I had to really get myself together. Type shit. No bullshit. Cause before I before I can get anybody else together, you gotta get yourself together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I had to really situate myself and get them situated. That shit changed a lot of things for you, right? Hell yeah, that shit changed more than a lot of things. Because like I said, that shit changed my whole life. Like, that shit really changed your life on some real shit. Like, a whole 180, you feel what I'm saying? Not a 360, because a 360, you turn, you just end up back the same spot. Like, yeah, my, that shit changed my life totally, you feel what I'm saying? Like, a whole 180, like, that shit turned me into a whole job. Because I remember like last year and a couple years back, like you was doing shows, you had your projects, you came yeah. out and everything like that. And I was, and all that shit was done off of, of my expense and done behind me, you feel me? I was doing all that shit, you feel what I'm saying? I was busting all the moves. Me and a couple other motherfuckers I had in my camp, you feel what I'm saying? You went out for L, right? Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? So that shit is going to show when you, when you doing it by yourself, that shit going to show. going to show when you got to really take the time away. You be like, damn, you feel what I'm saying? Shit don't pump. And shit don't shit don't keep going when you ain't got a team behind yourself. You feel me? You doing that shit just by yourself. And you just building it. yourself. And you building the team. You know what I'm saying? So of course I was going to have a lot. Now the last project that you brought, right? Mm -hmm. Can you talk about that? What, uh Dicky Suitman? No, the last album that you dropped. The uh, uh Um <laughs> Ab that. Yeah. yeah, that shit. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. That was one of your biggest, uh, you know, releases, yeah, man. Yeah, and it's like... Breakfast Club, 25. The crazy, crazy part about that shit, that shit was really done off the wing. Like, off the wing. Like, that shit was just... None of that Plan. shit was planned. Right. 
all of them studio sessions, then all of them songs was just like, all right, I'm about to go to the studio, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm about to go to the studio, go record. None of that shit is written, none of it. You know what I'm saying? All of them shit is YouTube beats. All that shit, but that shit was just like off the wing. I ain't know that shit was going to pop like that. Okay. Motherfuckers really fuck with that shit. But I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I put my I put my heart into that shit. I put my heart into that shit. I put my heart, I put my mind, body, and soul into that shit. No bullshit, so no bullshit, bro. Bro. Like Breakfast Club really got leaked crazy. Crazy crazy. That's why that's I really feel like that shit buzzed so hard because like a lot of motherfuckers knew that shit before it dropped. Like that shit really got leaked, my nigga, like to a point like damn it, the whole city had that shit. I ain't even capping. It got leaked on SoundCloud or like Nah, it ain't get leaked like nobody posted. Like everybody started sending it oh. to each other. So But it was damn near but everybody had it to a point like But you was still able to collect your streaming revenue or like, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, yeah. I made yeah. a bag off that shit. Yeah. But it was some shit like bro, the shit everybody had it. So much motherfuckers had it, like it really did seem like somebody put it out already. Like yeah. bro, mad motherfuckers have it. Like I'm surprised you ain't have it. <laughs> I probably, heard, I probably heard about it when it came out, honestly. I'm surprised you missed that wave. Everybody had that shit, gang. I heard it around, like, when it came out and everything. Yeah. That shit was going on you crazy. You probably heard it before it even came out. I'm telling you, my nigga, like that hook, I came up with that shit in my people's crib in the kitchen. We was just drunk. Me and, my, me and a couple of my folks we was in the, we was in, her, we was in my other people's crib, you feel me? We was getting drunk, about to, about to pop out to an event. I was just vibing, you feel me? I just started humming that shit. Caught, Caught up, up in my feelings, like I'm so high. And then my cousin Flash started recording me and he posted that shit on Facebook, like, yo, this nigga crazy. And then I'm like, damn, that's really a banger. I double back to that shit like a couple days later, like, yeah, that's a banger. I got use that joint. Now that song came out before the album or it's like. But no, none of that shit. None of that shit. That shit, that shit got, got leaked. leaked. Bro, bro. That's how hard that shit was. That shit got leaked. I seen that shit to a couple people and they just started leaking that shit. But bro, I belong here. That's how all my all hardest, my songs, hardest songs, songs is made, bro. I just be bullshit. I be with bullshit and walking around the crib, macking, not doing nothing. I'll be on the homies' crib just thinking some hard shit. And I capitalize off that. Like, damn, that's hard. That could really be a beggar. I got build some around, around that joint. That's how all my hardest songs came about, bro. I don't write that shit. I just I just take a little piece, like a little couple bars or like a couple words, and I take that shit to the studio and I build off that shit. Find a hard beat or but back then I ain't had uh, I ain't had my producer back then. You feel me? I was getting beats off YouTube. That's your uh, main producer back then. Yeah, it's my main producer. Word. My main producer. We locked in for life. Word. Any other Any producers other producer? that you mess with? Uh, local. Yeah. Uh, besides like Lucidy, Nels, I, I ain't really using Lucidy B yet. I, yeah. I just be going, I just be going to record him. I just be going to record with him. Um, yeah, I ain't really using nobody else's beats. I'm trying to think. And he, yeah. Earl, he part of Alpha L too, right? Who Earl? Yeah. Big L, you heard? Big, one of the biggest one of the biggest L's. L's. <laughs> you heard? Sanction. No cat. Damn, I'm really trying to think. I don't even think I did anybody else's beats on here. I'm not saying. Anybody else be oh uh Poppy six G's his beats is fire you heard cuz beats is torch you heard like, yeah I be I be I be keeping this shit in house you feel me not on no bullshit not to say anybody else ass yeah. or not to say I don't fuck with other motherfuckers it's just like to keep a lot of drama to keep a lot of negativity to keep a lot of keep, keep myself from getting held back by waiting on the motherfuckers you feel me I make sure that I got motherfuckers around me that I can work with you feel what I'm saying like like I don't got like, 
Like, I don't, I don't have, I make sure, so I don't, I got a, I got a producer, so it's like, I don't gotta run around looking for beats. You don't gotta and I'm not saying nigga, other niggas ass, but it's like, I got an in-house producer, so it's like, I don't really have to go looking for beats, so. Niggas got shit, shit, shit up. up to me. To me, to, uh, to me go look for that shit. Be the hot boy. <laughs> like, I, like, again, I'm not being crazy. It's just like, nigga, why? There's no point. You feel know what I'm saying? I got, I got, I got cameraman. You, man. you know what I'm saying? I got cameraman, producer, engineers in the house. Like, I don't be having to do too much. I gotta ask you this, though, man. You got mad videos. How come you ain't dropping no music <laughs> video to Breakfast Club? But that shit gotta be done right, bro. That shit gotta be done right. But I can't shoot Breakfast Club until I get to it. Until I get to another level of my career. But then again, I take that back. I, I want to. I want it. That's when I want to shoot Rebel Club. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot it right now. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not. Not enough people around the world know that shit yet. I want to get footage of that shit and, and catch a couple motherfuckers walking down the street in Paris singing that shit because they know it. Like, oh shit, why give you the video? Let me hop in. I want to do a worldwide video for that shit. I don't want to give out too much sauce on how I want the video, but like, yeah, that's that's the reason why. Cause I'm on I'm on the proper circumstances to get what I want done yet. But trust me, yeah, this is, I got mad footage for that shit. I did a, I did like two videos for that shit. Not trash and shit. Am, am I cabin? Am I, I'm, I'm, I'm not cabin, right? I got like two I got two whole videos of Breakfast Club trash both of them shits. They not they not good enough, and they wasn't even ass. It's just like it's not good enough. Hey yo, hey yo. I, pre I appreciate you for coming on Sesame TV, man. You already know, man. From the point of view where I'm seeing right now, you're a low key type dude and everything like that. Mm -hmm. I, I stay out, I stay out the way. Word. You stay out the way. You stay out yeah. the way. You, you have your way. You feel what I'm saying? That's what you said. That's what you said in the new song you released too. No bullshit. Yeah. No bullshit. You stay out the way. You have your way, my nigga. Motherfuckers be so focused on being the way, being the mix. You missing out on working by being in the mix at all times. You feel what I'm saying? I stay out this fucking bathroom. You miss out by working and really locking in with yourself and figure out what the fuck you gotta do to get to the next level by clouding your mind with always worrying about being lit and going out and doing what ain't important. Like, that shit ain't important. Hold on. Hello? But yeah, man. You cloud your mind by... You cloud your mind by worrying about irrelevant shit, bro. But always worry about popping out. That shit don't be important. Nigga, what's important is locking in by yourself, if you if you do music, if you do music like me, what's important is saying fuck events, fuck all that shit, fuck going places. You locked in, stick in the studio, make music. You feel me? Make music. Go get some footage. You want go places? Take that camera. Get your cameraman. You know, we gotta get some footage. You feel what I'm saying? Don't waste no time. Ain't waiting on nobody. You gotta make the best of that shit. You gotta put that work in, bro. Like it's just work, my nigga. Work and grind, bro. Nothing else, nothing more, nothing less, my nigga. You gotta put that work in, my nigga. Like all that popping out and shit. You do that shit when you got them M's and you ready and you and you and you able to fuck the club up. You feel me? That's what I wanna do. I don't wanna start popping out till I got the M's in my motherfucking until I got the M's in my bank account and I can go. Get you heard me damn there ten racks in one. We about to go fuck the club up. You heard me popping out. We about to celebrate. I ain't got nothing to celebrate for right now. Everybody be saying that shit to you like damn yo, you always be low. I don't never see you out. You don't never take nigga, me. I'm not broke, but I'm broke, nigga. I'm comfortable with being uncomfortable right now, nigga. I'm comfortable with sacrificing what I what my my wants for my needs. You feel what I'm saying? Like nigga, I gotta get rich. So you, all that shit is irrelevant and it's not important. And I got a child to feed and I got a whole family to feed. So it's like, I gotta get that bag. And when you talk about getting to the bag and locking in, now, the penmanship, you like writing more soldiers. Hold on, hold on, look at my boy. My, look at my fucking boy. My boy just touched you, heard? My fucking boy oh, not shit. ate oh, out here, you heard? Oh, oh, it's oh, Liddy. Right. It's Liddy. It's fucking What's Liddy, you heard? I'm in the middle of an interview right now, gang. What's right. good? Liddy, you're up in the middle of an interview right now, gang. What's good? Cuz you hear him, cuz this nigga talk about, of course, nigga. Fuck you talking about. I had to add you before you was out of jail, nigga. I had to add you before you was out of jail. Let's get into the music now. When you say locking in and you know, get into the music and everything like that, you like, you wait, you wait more so closer to penmanship or freestyle. Yeah. When you hear yourself on the beat, it's all like you just come straight out the top. Yeah, yeah. Niggas, niggas mad at me, bro. Yo, let me keep it a buck. And y'all might think I'm capping, but my last doing, full song I wrote was Ketchup. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, that's my favorite song. <laughs> <laughs> that's my, that's my, that's my, that's yo, my, yo, look. We spoke a my, lot into that this song. My, this is my twin right here. You know more about me than I know about myself, vice versa. Yo, Lodge. 
My last Britain song was Catch Up. Oh, I bet. Am I capping? He know too. Okay, oh yeah, that was the last song. That was the last song. 2017, Catch Up. When you shot that, right? Yeah. That was my last written song. You about to book it now, though? It's 2021. That was definitely four years ago, because I shot that shit around this time last year. Where you shot that at? Uh, I shot that shit on the lane. Um, I just like Matt Aries on the lane. And I shot that shit. I shot. I think I shot that shit. A couple spots. Nah, nah. I shot that whole shit on the lane. And the new one you shot was the main one, right? Huh? Was it Batman? Was the new one you shot? Which one? Yeah. Hit body. Hit body. Nah, I was in Venice Park. Venice Park. And. Coach Chase on the west side, Coach Chase is the But yeah, no bullshit, yo. Catch Up was the last song I wrote. I don't write, bro. Apart from South Jersey, you been anywhere else? I know what. I know what. Uh, is in Atlanta right now. Being anywhere else as far as what is like. If I ain't, I look at it as this. If I ain't make a mark there, if I ain't like leave with a couple motherfuckers know who I am, period, like I, I, ain't, I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? My dad, like, if I didn't leave a mark there, basically, I wasn't there. But I've been a couple places, though. I've been to LA. There's a couple places where I was just on other, I was there for other reasons. But as far as, like, leaving a mark or making moves out there, Atlanta, that's like my second home, no cap. Yeah. I love it out there. Nell's still out there? Nah, he out here. Oh, he back right now. Right? He all out here. He all out here. Why he make that move? What'd you say? Why he make that move from here to Atlanta? Why you make why you make it from Atlanta? Yeah, no, why nah, you move from here to Atlanta? We all did. Mm. Bro, the opportunity, my man. You're not the only one. I interviewed the Dollar too. He was saying that, you know, the it environment is, over there is kinda of different. Yeah. yeah. It's and it's deeper than just music, bro. It's opportunities all around the board out there, my nigga. Like it's like it's it's no holds bar out there. And it's, it's and you know that you know that cursed jersey got, you feel me? That hating ass curse that everybody that everybody got. It's the crab in the barrel ass area over here. Bro, them motherfuckers up lift them up there, man. Them motherfuckers wanna see you win. They never they never meet. It's the first time they, they could be the first time they met you daily like they don't know you from the can of paint. Motherfuckers uplift you, motherfuckers support you, motherfuckers encourage you to do better out there, bro. Well, you from the city though, so as far as you being from the city, it's still in your heart, like, you know. Hell yeah, I ain't gonna go be old on. Yeah. I ain't gonna never turn my back on the city. Yeah. Like I ain't gonna never turn my back see, like, like, when, you I on, see, when, when I get on, when I get on, when I get on, I'm gonna have a crib in Jersey always. I'm gonna still, I'm living a better place because the weather here is trash. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm gonna always have a crib in Jersey. My heart in Jersey, for sure. But I'm just, I'm, I'm definitely, I'm an Atlanta resident right now though. That's where I'm at right now. That's my home base for sure. Now, what you want to see from the city, as far as like? Stop hating. Mm. Stop hating. Stop worrying about what the next nigga doing. Only worry about the only thing you should be worried about the next nigga doing is if it's positive and if you about to support him and if you about to uplift him. You know what I'm saying? Stop focusing on the negative, bro. It's too small of an area for it to be so divided. You got Atlantic City that's only a 10 mile radius and niggas hate each other out here opposed to. A motherfucking place like Atlanta and shit like that. Like, them motherfuckers love each other and it's so big out there, bro. And then it's like, motherfuckers really be having real smoke out there. Like, real deep, real reasons to hate each other. Shit out here be goofy. Like, that shit be dumb. Niggas just be, niggas just hate each other. Niggas be hating each other. It's like, there's no genuine love out here, my nigga. Everybody want to hate on each other. Everybody want to be better than each other. Nobody want to see nobody doing better than them. You feel what I'm saying? And as far as the music scene, it's like, I don't know, I feel like everybody want to make it first. I don't give a fuck if I want to make it first. Just nigga, what do you know? All it takes is one person to open that door. You feel it's what I'm over. saying? It's right. over. When you start making music, though. Man, that shit go back to like, so, young, young. I got my first, my first time in the studio, I was two years old. My first verse I ever laid down, I was two years old. Your family was making music? Yeah. That shit in my blood. My dad a motherfucker music guru. He ain't even a rapper. He just like, he like an A and R slash executive slash CEO slash and he and he slash a motherfucking artist. He a hop on the track too. Slash show slash. Like my dad do all that shit. That's his profession. Mhm. Bullshit. my dad. You heard? He like the right now, walking that time down. He get back out. He gonna get back. He gonna come home to a couple mills. 
Okay. That's my mission. That's one of my biggest missions, brother. And that's why I be going so hard. That's why I be blocking away, making sure that I'm on my P's and Q's, ready to bomb on shit. Cause like, hell, yeah. I owe my dad a couple of mil. I owe my dad a couple of M's, bro. When them gates open, he gonna have a couple of M's. Wait, man. What's the first song you wrote? What song you dropped? First song I look. I'm about to play right quick. Look. I'm gonna put y'all on. Why can't you even stop it? You heard? I ain't bugging, right? What the fuck that shit at? Damn. What the fuck? 12 years ago. 12 years ago. I'm trying to see the exact date. Damn. But yeah, y'all do the math. 12 years ago, though. You feel me? Check me out! It's done as all, you heard? Drippy! Airbrush T, you heard? Dunks on! Stop fucking playing with Come on, man. I've been doing this shit, bro. This shit really, like, this shit really bred it in me, like, no cat. That's how I know I'm gonna make it. I was, I was, I was born into this shit. Easy do what I do oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 so bad I'm I'm not bow wow boy I was sent by mad cash The seeking to destroy yeah, right, who made this video though? That's 15 and under I forgot That's my man My dad man's You heard This is going hard I'm trans This is crazy Yeah that was That was the old drip You heard Yeah that's the first song that wasn't, Nah that wasn't my first song That was my first video That was my first official video That was my debut <laughs> Nine years old. It was my debut. Yeah, but I'm saying it's not the game. People keep it coming, ain't no hold up, got me a new Fuck that bitch at 2 pay in by 4, fuck me up. If it's too much burdens on that clock, it's a new If it's too much burdens on that clock, it's a level gun. I was born that cop and more profit way before that bubble up. Uh. Put the sticks on the bitch, kick her out the crib, she ain't hit the gummy up. Uh. Bro, save a whole color back and she can't get me, she can't do that. Wow. I know that bitch can drop my mind, don't start itching my knees, can't move. Fuck it, go on, I'm smiling, hit her, hello, bitch, I'm geeky. Said that they not flowing. 